Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to be doing a clay project. Hello from VoiceOver Sammy. Today we will be doing the ceramic vase project. What we will need is a soft rubber rib, a toothed metal scraper rib, and a smooth metal scraper rib. This is the smooth metal rib. This is the toothed metal rib. And this is the soft rubber rib. We are gonna start with the tooth metal rib and we're gonna scrape the outside. We can put our hand on the inside for support, but please be careful. I actually scraped myself with this, so just be careful. I'm scraping the sides here. You'll see me scrape up and then to the side and up and then to the side. We need to do it in this motion. You'll get clay stuck on this toothed rib and that's okay. You can use some of that clay that is stuck on there and smooth it to the side. And what we're trying to do here is to get all of those seams filled. We are gonna actually take some of that clay smooth it to the side just as long as we have all of those seams filled and you'll see here i'll show you certain seams that need to be filled up and i'll show you how to do that i'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of music here so we can listen to some while we're working <music>
our surface looks good. Let's grab that rubber rib and we're going to scrape up the sides and we're going to place our hand on the inside for support there. And then we're going to take our rubber rib and we're going to scrape some of that clay off of there. Um, later on in this video, I will show you that you do need to leave a little bit of that clay on that rib and you'll scrape to the sides. You're just filling in some of those bumps on the surface to make it as smooth as possible. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of music here so we can listen to some while we're working. Okay, our surface looks really good now. I'm going to show you the inside of our vase. There's the coils there. I'm going to keep it just like that. I like the looks of it. And we're going to grab our clay knife. I'm going to use the very end of this to make a texture on there. And we're just going to do this pattern over and over again. And I'm going to end up rolling that knife just a little bit to make a little more of an indention and texture. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of music here.
going to show you the end results here. You can see the coils on the inside and then texturing on the rim there and on the outside. I think we did a great job. Please join me next time. We will be painting and decorating our vase. Please like and subscribe. There'll be more clay projects to come. See you next time.